I was looking at a practice of abduction, which was um, in the 18th and 19th century. It was actually um, a crime when a man took a woman without the woman's father's consent. So if he tried to elope with her or if he tried to kidnap her, either of those things was considered a crime according to the law at the time because the daughter was her father's property. Um, my great 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 aunt had attempted to elope with the Attorney General's son in Sydney in 1848 and her father had found out, chased them down, drawn pistols at them at the Parramatta race course and then proceeded to um, put the man, the slippery suitor, my um, in question, put him on trial. So I was in the unearthing of the story. The first thing that I found was in an old shoebox that my mum kept under her bed, and it had little bits of family paraphernalia. But she pulled out this torn half newspaper clipping, which was from 1848, and it wasn't the whole newspaper clipping I later found out, it was just the segment when my great 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 aunt was standing in the witness box of Sydney's Supreme Court being forced by her father, who was an ex-convict, to give evidence against the Attorney General's son, the man she wanted to marry. And she knew that the evidence that she was about to give would condemn him to prison. And as she stood in that witness box, the newspaper said she was most agitated and began to cry and I just love that I just love that because you know suddenly this person who's so lost to me so distanced to, to me from so many generations is suddenly alive most agitated too agitated to speak was the word they used so that newspaper clipping an archive in itself put me on a trail a detective um, hunt trail and I eventually ended up at the state records of New South Wales and um, I found the deposition this case. So a legal deposition is the, um, contains all the information, the witness statements, descriptions to some extent of um, how they saw the events that were unfolding. And in my case, the events were fabulously dramatic. You know, Mary Ann Gill climbing down the three-storey pipe of her um, father's hotel. She raced off to the Parramatta race course in the middle of the night. You know, she tried to meet her suitor. She got into all sorts of tangles and mangles. She got chased by the police. The father came out with the guns. And it was all there in this deposition. And not only was all, were all the details, the different perspectives of that event from her father's point of view, from her mother's point of view, from her point of view, and from the man she eventually married, her suitor. Not only was that, but at the bottom of her um, evidence, her signature. And her signature is punctuated with three splotchy marks that look to me exactly like her tears. So I encountered this record that has not only my great, great, great aunt's evidence, but also her signature, but also further evidence of the great emotion she felt at that particular moment in her life.